getting the best buy or sell indicator will definitely make you a profitable trader. With this scalping trading strategy, I will be showing you the MAC trading strategy that you have never seen before. As this strategy gave the best Forex scalping strategy. It can also be used as a crypto scalping strategy. So make sure you watch till the end to get the full details if you must use this best trading view indicator. This is a scalping strategy that works for both Forex, crypto, and stocks. This scalping strategy would really blow your mind as it nearly does not make any losses while trading. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, for this strategy, we will be using the Euro United States Dollar. And we are on the 3 minutes time frame. For this strategy, we will be using two amazing indicators to scalp the market like a pro. So let's quickly add the indicators to our chart to better understand the strategy. Now for the first indicator, go ahead and search for the auto fib by the Yang Gizi. It plots fib levels between the high and low of a time frame of your choosing. Seems to line up well with custom drawn fib levels. And for the second indicator, add the MACD custom by Chris Moody to the chart. This is an extremely popular indicator used in technical analysis. MACD can be used to identify aspects of security's overall trend. Now let's quickly adjust the settings for this indicators in order to make the best out of this strategy. Double click on the auto fib. On the input, I want you to change the length to 100. And that's all for this settings. This auto fib will help us cap our losses to achieve the maximum profit attainable in the market using its different levels for risk management. Now let's quickly go ahead and adjust the settings for the MACD. Go ahead and double click on it. On the style, I want you to untick the histogram, then also untick the zero line. Now we are not done with the settings. Go ahead and add two band line to the chart. Please note that the values for this band line differ for different pairs. Double click on the first band line. I want you to change the coordinates to 0 0.0003. Now on the style, change its color to green. Also double click on the second band line and change the coordinates to minus 0.0003. And on the style, change it to red. When you are done, click on the OK button. Now we are fully equipped with the settings. Let's go over the rules for a valid buy and sell signal as we would be back testing the strategy at the end of the video. So make sure you watch till the end to fully understand the real trick behind this strategy as it could make you your first millions. Now for a buy signal to be valid, we would want to get our signal below the lower band line or this red band, as we would want to see the green signal below the lower band line. When we get that, we will go ahead and place a buy stop order at the top of the trigger candlestick. Our stop loss will be at the recent swing low, while our take profit will be trailed using the auto fib. Now watch closely as we make use of the auto fib the best possible way. When we place a buy stop order and our trade tends to trigger, we will adjust our stop loss whenever we see price close above any of the auto fib level. So we see if we entered our trade here, we got our trade triggered at this candlestick, so we had to trail our stop loss whenever we get the trade close above any level of the auto fib. And we see it closed above this red level, so we would adjust our stop loss at the middle of the low zone. Now note that, for the upper zones and lower zone of the auto fib, we will be using half of the level whenever we have price close above or below those zones. As we move on, we can see the next candlestick close above the green Fibonacci level, so we will adjust the stop loss to this red fib level. And as we waited, we also see price action closed above the middle level line, so we will also go ahead and adjust our stop loss towards the green fib level. 
And as we can see, the trailing continued as when it reached the highs of the auto fib and broke above it, we would place our stop loss at the middle of the upper zone. You can easily know the middle by subtracting the values of the auto fib to get an accurate reading. Now as price keeps adjusting the auto fib, so shall we keep adjusting our stop loss levels. And we can see that we could have been stopped out at this point. Let's calculate how much we would have bagged. And we could see we would have bagged more than three times our risk. Now watch closely as we reveal errors to avoid bit by bit. And there is a secret bonus before the end of the video. Make sure not to skip the video so you wouldn't mess up your account as we would be revealing everything on this video. Now if you enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up as it motivates us to make more video like this. Thank you. Moving on. Please note that we do not take trades when we get signals inside the two band line as we avoid signals like this. Also note that we only take by trades when the cross happens below the red band line. As we don't take sell trades that happen below the lower band line. Now exactly the opposite is true for a short trade. For a sell signal to be valid, we would want to get our signal above the upper band line or this green band line. As we would want to see the red signal above the upper band line. When we get that, we will go ahead and place a sell stop order at the bottom of the trigger candlestick. Our stop loss will be at the recent swing high, while our take profit will be trailed using the auto fib. Now watch closely as we make use of the auto fib the best possible way. When we place a sell stop order and our trade tends to trigger, we will adjust our stop loss whenever we see price close below any of the auto fib level. So we see if we entered our trade here, we got our trade triggered at this candlestick, so we had to trail our stop loss whenever we get the trade close below any level of the auto fib. And we see it closed below this blue level, so we would adjust our stop loss at the middle of the high zone. Now, do not forget that for the upper levels and lower levels of the auto fib, we will be using half of the zone whenever we have price close above or below those zones. So note that the price retraced back. Let's calculate the values of our middle level to see if we were stopped out of this trade. Now like I said earlier, it's best to make use of the FIB values to best identify where to place your stops. Let me change the colors of the FIB upper and lower levels to white since the up and bottom levels are on black and we have a black background on our chart. Okay guys, I guess we can see both the levels and its values now. At this point, the top level is at 0.97729 and the blue level is at 0 0.97537. If we subtract both values, we would be left with 0 0.00192. If we divide such figure by two, we would have 0 0.00096. Now we would subtract the values from the top fib level, and we are left with 0 0.97633. Now let's check our highest attained candlestick and know if it stopped us out. And we can see our highest candlestick peak was at 0 0.97632. So luckily for us, we are still on this trade. Now note that when trading life, always try to put the average spread fee into consideration to avoid getting stopped out. And also, if you are using a broker that is not listed on TradingView, try and check the necessary values of pairs listed on TradingView and know by how much pips it is greater or lesser than that which you are using. The bitter truth is, a lot of brokers manipulate and hunt for stop loss. 
so make sure you're using one that's reputable. And also, raw spread accounts are best type of account for scalping. Now as we move on, we can see the next candlestick closed below the dark shade of the blue Fibonacci level, so we will adjust the stop loss to this light blue Fib level. And as we waited, we also see price action closed below the middle level line, so we will also go ahead and adjust our stop loss towards the dark blue Fib level. And as we can see, the trailing continued as when it reached the lows of the auto Fib. The auto fib adjusted and price broke below it. We would place our stop loss at the middle of the lower zone since price broke below it. And we can see that we could have been stopped out at this point. Let's calculate how much we would have bagged. and we could see we would have made more than nine times our risk. Also notice we even had an entry here because the MACD gave a signal here which was not triggered till it got to this point. And we would have made even more from this trade because we can see the risk level is lower than the example given. Okay guys, please make sure you follow these rules exactly as it was mentioned. Let's now quickly back test our strategy with an account size of $1,000 and we will be going over 200 back tested trades as we risk 1% of our account size on each trade. Let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and we can see the results are amazing. We see we had a win rate of 65%. This strategy has no fixed RR ratio as its profit levels were mostly trail. Having won 130 trades and lost 70 trades, which made us 167% return on investment. The amazing fact about this strategy is that it has a good risk management strategy, as we made a lot of huge winning gains at some close take profit level. And I found those wonderful trade setups within five weeks. Although commissions and spread fees would eat up some of the profit in real trading because it was not included in the back test. So you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading life. The profit factor for this strategy is looking good as we had seven wins in a row against three losses in a row. But know that some trades were closed with little profit during the back test. So you can comfortably use this strategy with 3% of your account size on each trade. Okay guys, let's now compare the strategy to some other strategies I've already tested on this channel. In terms of return on investment, this strategy is really good, although not the most profitable on the channel. 167% return on investment is not bad for a short term trade on a 3 minute time frame. You should probably test this strategy out if you want weekly profits from the market. If we take a look at the win rate, which is probably one of the most important metrics, we can see that the strategy is good as well, as it made 65% win rate within a short period of time. So make sure to add this to your trading arsenal. So yeah, traders, definitely give this strategy a try, and make sure you do the proper back testing and forward testing before trading live. By the way, if you have any strategy you would like to try out, please let us know on the comment section. Also, feel free to check out my other videos on our channel. I have playlists with different strategies and indicators that will definitely make you a profitable trader. All I ask for in return is to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it is absolutely free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.